friends! So today we are going to do a little paper craft that I've been really wanting to do for a while and I used to do a lot of paper crafting like years ago and for some reason I just stopped doing them and this past weekend when we had gone back to Massachusetts to our house back in Massachusetts I had kind of been going through all of my crafting products and deciding what I wanted to bring back with me here to our house in New York, and I was kind of inspired to start up doing more paper crafting. So I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to make this customized holiday planner book. So I use planner books for all of my ideas or just as a journal for each holiday. And I find that they're really useful year after year because, for instance, the one that we're going to be making today is a Halloween themed one. So I have lots of different like Halloween crafts and DIYs that I've done throughout the years. And this is just a great place where you can store all of your ideas. So it's kind of like a Pinterest, but that you can actually hold on to. Um, I know I put recipes in mine. I put like DIYs and and crafts and you know anything that has to do with that particular holiday or season so that's what we're going to be doing today and follow along so there's a few items that you're going to be needing to do this DIY the first is you're going to need one of these composition books now I just got mine from the Dollar Tree it was a dollar um, you can get them anywhere second you're gonna need some cardstock or some heavier style paper now I had purchased a large book like this one right here which I actually showed in a previous haul that I did I got this from Joanne fabrics it has 48 sheets of Halloween themed paper in it and I basically just picked out the ones that I wanted to use in my um, holiday planner then you're going to need some stickers which I have a few different sticker options right here you're gonna need some scissors a pencil a ruler I actually use this cutter as well so this is um, a cutter from the paper studio and some glue and some roll adhesive like this one right here and then I'm also going to be using a couple of punches. These are um, Fiskars punches, and I'm going to be using a, a round scallop punch and a decorative corner punch like this one right here. Um, if you don't have punches, you can just use scissors and, um, you know, your creativity, basically. So first things first is you want to measure the size of your composition book now I'm guessing that most composition books are all um, you know about the same size I'm actually measuring in metric today because I like using the metric on my um, cutter instead of the standard um, you know inch measurements I like to use the centimeters so from top to bottom of my composition book it was 24 and a half centimeters by 17 and a half centimeters now I'm not measuring all the way over to the edge of the book because I'm gonna leave some of the black from the corner of the binding showing so my first page on the very front of my book is going to be this really pretty black with like a rose gold spider web now this is going to be on the front cover and I've already pre-cut it and like I said the measurement was 24 and a half centimeters by 17 and a half centimeters and if you can see this if I line this up um, with the front of the book right here you're gonna see how much of the actual black um, binding is going to show so that's you can kind of you know pick about how much you want showing I actually left about so let's see if I'm I left about one and a half centimeters of the black showing on the binding side 
So like I said, I pre-cut all of my paper already. So what I did was I cut a front piece. So this is going to be my front piece. I cut a back piece, which I'm going to use this really pretty purple color as my back piece. And then you're also going to want pieces for the insides of the covers as well. So for the inside of my cover, your insides are going to be a little bit larger than your outsides because you're going to be measuring closer to the inside of the binding. So the length of the inside cover was the same as the outside. Obviously, it was 24 and a half um, centimeters, but the inside was 18 and a half centimeters. So it was a centimeter wider for the inside. And that's because your paper is going to go closer to the seam than it did on the outside, which you were leaving that little um, gap for the black binding. So you don't want to go too, too close. You want to leave a little bit of a space only because if you go too close, your book will have a hard time, you know, opening and closing once you, you know, glue all of the paper together. So this is going to be the inside of my book and then we want to do the same thing for the inside of the back cover and I chose this pretty striped pattern for the inside of my back cover just like that. So now once we have our pieces cut we're going to want to use some adhesive to stick the paper to our front and back cover. So, for my front cover, I'm going to be using some of this roll adhesive tape. And I'm going to be using this because it's going to be able to get really close to the edge of this paper. Now, don't worry about the corners. I know that the corners are, once you've cut them, I know the corners are going to be, you know, sharp or at a 90 degree angle. But we're going to trim that off once it's actually glued down to our book. So we're going to flip it around. We're going to lay some of this adhesive as close as we can to the edge of our paper, just like that. And we're going to work all the way around. And you want to get as close as you can because if you're going to be using this book, you know, you know, if you're going to be opening and closing this book a lot, it's going to get a lot of use. So you want to make sure this top cover really stays in place. that. So I've done all around the edges of the back of the paper and I'm also going to do um, a few down the center here as well. Just to really hold this in place. I know they also make sheets of this um, sticky um, tape. And basically what you can do with the sheets is you can cut it to the same size as your cardstock and it's got this paper on it just like this so that you will have just one sheet of stickiness. Uh, but I don't have any of that so I'm actually just using the tape. So here we go. The tape is all adhered and I'm just pushing it down firmly just to make sure it's on there good. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to start peeling off the backing to the tape. And I'll peel it off all the way around. Just like that. So now this is the sticky portion, which is going to go on to the front of our composition book. Now the pattern that I have doesn't really matter which direction I put it. What you really want to make sure is that your edges are lined up as tightly as possible as they can be. So I'm going to start with 
the edge that opens first. And once this gets down, it's kind of really sticky, so really be careful that you're getting it in the right spot to begin with. I'm actually going to turn mine sideways and work like this. Okay, so I'm going to really press it down once I have it on. And I have a slight overhang, but that's okay. Um, I have a slight overhang on this side right here, but we can trim that off with an X-Acto knife after. If you don't have one of these little cutters, you can always just use your scissors and just, you know, trim off this edge. I'm actually gonna just use, use a, a little knife like this and I'm just gonna go right along the edge of the paper really carefully just to trim off this excess paper. You can use a ruler if you need to to help guide you. I'm gonna kinda just do it by hand. just until it comes free. And actually while I'm doing this, I'm going to trim around the corners as well. So I won't be doing that with scissors later on. All right. Oops, I got another piece down here. There. Okay, so it's all trimmed. Now it's nice and smooth and we're gonna do the same thing to the back cover with the piece that we chose for the back all right so I've got the front and back cover all complete and I trimmed the edges as well of the back cover so those are nice and crisp and clean and we're gonna now work on adhering the inside covers for this one I've chose this really cute jack-o-lantern with the cute little gold eyes and nose and mouth and we're gonna do the same technique I'm gonna use this tape to apply to the back of the paper and we're just going to go ahead and stick that right in place. All right, press those down and go ahead and start peeling away the backing. Okay, so now this one is going to make a difference which direction it's in. So you want to make sure your book is in the upright position because I don't want my little jack-o'-lanterns to be upside down. So again, we're going to line it up with the edge, the edges of the book as close as we can get to the edges, just like that. And we're going to press it down and you can see how I've got a slight gap in between the actual binding and the paper, which that's what you want. You don't want to get too close to that binding or else your book will have a hard time closing. So once that's pressed down, we can go ahead and trim those little edges away again using our either scissors or an X-Acto knife. I'm actually using an X-Acto knife. And I'm just using the edge of the book as a guide just to trim those edges right away. Just like that. So now you have nice clean edges. 
there's my inside, there's my front cover, and my inside, and we're going to do the same thing to the back inside cover. And I'm going to be using this striped color for the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So now my front, back, and inside covers are all complete. So I cleaned up all of the edges. And a little tip that you can do, um, you can actually use like a nail filer or like a buffer and go ahead and buff the edges to smooth them out if there's any little rough spots that might catch. So from here, we are going to add some pockets to the inside front and the inside back cover. Now, this paper that I purchased, this is one of the sheets of paper that was in that pack. And I like this one right here that says, or I should say this piece of the paper that says going to the pumpkin patch and this other one that says happy Halloween. So I'm going to cut these pieces out because I'm going to use these to make pockets in the front and back cover. And I'm going to just use my cutter tool right here to go ahead and cut those out. And I'm going to just line that up with my cutter, just like that. Cut it in half, and I'm gonna cut this one out right here. So I'm going to use this one right here, and I'll save these ones, and I'm going to use this one right here, and I'm going to move that down there. So these are going to be little pockets on the inside of my booklet. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet on which page. And I think that is too much orange, so I think I'm going to use this going to the pumpkin patch on the front right here. And I think I'm going to use this Happy Halloween on the back. All right, so now we are going to be making the little pockets for the front and back cover of the notebook. Now, what I've gone and done is I've cut a few pieces out to make this pocket. Um, I've used some of this extra striped paper that I had and I measured, I went ahead and measured the length and the width of the piece of the front pocket. This one happened to be just over 15 centimeters by just under seven centimeters. So I cut out a three centimeter by, this was the same width, the just over 15, and then two smaller pieces, which this one was just under seven by three centimeter pieces. So one piece is going to go be attached to the bottom and then two pieces are going to be attached to the side to make that pocket. Now once you get your pieces cut out what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to flip your piece. Now I'm going to do it on my cutting board so you can see it. You're going to want to flip your piece over and you're going to want to just mark your piece um, halfway at the halfway point going the long way. So this one happens to be three centimeters so I'm going to mark it at one and a half which is right in the center and then again on the other side mark it at one and a half and then I'm going to just use my ruler just to line up those two points 
and I'm gonna create, I'm gonna score a line down the center. Now, I don't wanna push hard when I'm scoring. I wanna push really lightly, just so that it makes a mark so that I can easily fold the card in half. Now, if you push too hard, you're gonna cut through the paper, but I don't know if you can see, it's just a light score mark, which is gonna make it easy to fold that piece in half, just like that. So now you got a nice, crisp, clean score and a nice, crisp fold. Once you have that those folds in place, you are going to go back and you are going to take your tape and you are going to tape one edge. You're actually gonna to wanna to tape the edge that is gonna go up against your the back side of your paper. So it's gonna be the top edge. You're gonna tape that with your tape, just like so. And you're gonna do the same for the two side pieces. So you wanna make sure you're taping the edge that goes up against the paper. So it's gonna be this side right here. If you have a little extra hanging over the side, which I do, I'm just going to trim that off just so that it's nice and even with my paper. I don't want to have any extra like tape hanging off the side. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Just make sure that it's the right side that I'm taping. like so and again just trim there we go okay so now let's start with the bottom piece first we're gonna take this um, piece of tape off so now we've got the sticky part on the top and we're gonna stick that sticky part to the bottom of our pocket just like so, okay? So now we've got your pocket and then this is gonna be the bottom of your pocket and this is gonna be, this is gonna be the side that sticks to the book itself. And we're gonna do the same thing with the sides. We're going to go ahead in and stick it right to each side. Just like so. And stick this one right to the other side, just like so. So that's what it should look like now. All right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add some more tape to the inside right here. So let's get our tape again. And we're going to add, add some tape right to the inside, just like that, and do the same on the other side. Add the tape right to the inside. So now we've got a piece of tape here and a piece of tape here. Now. We're gonna pull that adhesive backing off. So we've got the sticky exposed, just like that. And we are going to now kind of fold these pieces in and we're gonna fold the bottom up so that the bottom sticks onto those sticky pieces on the side. So now you've already created your pocket and your pocket is, you know, being held together with the tape from the side. Now remember, you still have this stickiness up in here, which is going to stick to your book. So now we've got to put another piece of tape across the very bottom. Just like that. And I'm going to trim off 
this side right here where it overhangs just a little bit. All right, and we're gonna head, go ahead and pull off the backing. Just like that. So now we've got sticky all around the back. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to go ahead and, oh, I actually did the back one first, not the, uh, no, I, let's see, which one did I, was I gonna do? Yeah, I was gonna do that one on the front and this one on the back. So I'm just gonna kind of line it up. This page has the stripes, so I can kind of use the stripes as a guide. So I am going to kind of go about halfway up, up this white stripe, and I'm gonna just push down just to make sure that that pocket is sticking to the pocket and it's also sticking to the back of the book. And there we go. There we have a pocket. You can see you can put stuff in the pocket, just, just like so. So there's one. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the pocket that is in the front of the book, the front inside cover. So now I'm just working on like embellishing a little bit. I used a couple of the stickers from this sticker pack right here. I ended up using the black witch on the broom and a little bat up here and then a little gravestone with a crow on it. I put those on the front and I was looking for some for the inside cover, which I think I really like this black cat. And I think I'm gonna put him maybe up here near the pumpkins somewhere hmm do i want him like down here in the corner or do i want him up here i don't know i think i kind of like him hmm maybe like kind of right here like he's almost like walking across the top of the pocket Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. So I put him right there. He's really cute. And I think I'm also going to use this spider web. And I'm going to put this one. I think I'm going to put this one like right up in the top corner. Just like that. And I might even use this spider and have this spider be like it's crawling up to the spider web. This is the fun part of this project is just decorating with your stickers. I already did some stickers on the back cover, which I will show you in a minute. So I'm going to put this guy right here like he's crawling up to the spider web. So there's some cute stickers on my front inside cover. This is what I did on the back cover. I put a couple of ghosts, like they're flying up from the pocket. And then I showed you the ones on the front. So now what we're going to do is we're going to separate these inside pages. And what we're going to do is now you can really separate these pages by adding more of this heavy cardstock to your like front and back of your page so that it creates almost like a um, divider. And you can do that multiple times throughout the book if, if you want. I actually might just do one page just to kind of show you how to do that. Then we're going to add the tabs down the side so that way you can have different sections of your notebook. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out another piece of paper, which this is a little bit more lightweight of a paper than the paper that I used on the front and back covers. Um, and I liked it because it would work better being attached to a page of the notebook because the notebook pages are fairly thin. So I didn't want to feel like have a real bulky page 
um, on the inside so this thinner paper works a little bit better. So I went ahead and applied the tape to the back. I cut it out the same size as the paper, which is the same size as the front cover and back cover. And I'm just now taking off the backing to the tape and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this to that page as soon as I get all of these off. And with this one, it's okay if we go over the corners a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that little punch that I have and punch the corners of this. So our main thing is to just line it up as best we can with the top and bottom and the side. I think that's pretty good, just like that. So now we're creating our first section in our planner. Now if there's little pieces on the edge that, little pieces of tape or whatever on the edge, that's okay. We can clip those off, no big deal. Now what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to take this punch, this corner punch, wherever it is, right here, and I'm gonna use that same um, decorative corner that I used on the corner in here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we have the pretty little edges punched out on our inside page. And now we can create a tab for this page. So I am actually going to use, let's see, what are we going to use here for paper? You can use whatever kind of paper you want. I think I'm going to use this purple paper right here for my tabs only because purple seems to be kind of like the accent color throughout this book. I've got the little purple candies. Oh, whoops. I've got the little purple candies on this page and then like the purple around the border and the little purple polka dots. So I think I'm going to use the purple. And I have my round scalloped edge and I'm just going to stick my paper right in. Got punch and get the next one in. Punch. I'm going to do probably four tabs. Three and one more. And four. You're going to need double these. I, I don't know why I wasn't thinking. You're actually, if you want to do four tabs, you're going to need to do eight of these punches because you're going to need a front and a back because what is going to happen is once you glue your tab to the top of your page, I mean, you don't have to have a back if you don't want. One side is going to be white. So if you want both sides to be colored, then you're going to need to do one for the front and one for the back, which I want both sides to be colored. So that's why I'm going to do double. So I want four tab tabs. I'm going to do eight punches. Okay, while I was punching paper, I actually realized that I don't have enough of this purple paper to do four tabs. So I only have enough to do three tabs. So, and while I was looking for paper, I ended up finding this other little piece right here on a different sheet of paper. So I ended up cutting this out and gluing it right to the front of my um, divider page, which I like this because it's lined and so I can like, you know, write some notes on here. 
But now we're going to actually go ahead and make the dividers. So I've got my circle piece. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use some glue and I'm going to put some glue on this about three quarters of the way around. It's kind of hard for you to see. So about that much glue. And we're going to just glue this right down to our page, just like so, with a little bit sticking over the edge. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the page over. So this is going to be the back side of the divider page. We're going to take our second little piece and this one we're going to completely cover with the glue. Okay, so you see that? There we go. So that's completely covered. Now we're just going to line the scallops up with the scallops on the other, um, the other side. And we're just going to press that down just like so. So it makes a nice little divider tab. Just like that. So now when your page when your book is closed, you're going to have these cute little dividers going all the way down your page, down your book, so you know which sections are which. So, for example, this one will be, you know, decorating ideas. The next section might be Halloween recipes. The next section might be um, Halloween costume ideas. So. That is how that is going to be done. I'm actually going to go ahead and glue the rest of these. Make sure that your pages are evenly divided between each section. Is You can go ahead and open up your book and you can kind of divide it into however many pages you want to use. So I'm going to kind of just divide it into three pretty equal sections. About like this just divide it into about three equal sections I'm going to then open this page up and I'm gonna do the same exact thing now if we wanted to put another divider sheet in here we can go ahead and do that I actually might do that only because I like having that divider sheet be a little bit heavier than just the regular lined sheet so I might go ahead and look for some more paper and do that and and then I will come back and show you what it looks like well I finished up the last few touches of my holiday planner book last night I just wanted to do a complete walkthrough of everything that we did so I did the cover here with this gold um, the purple and gold paper I actually um, did that on top of the black spider web and then I added the stickers and I also added this cute little cutout that says have a very spectacular Halloween on top of this purple background that is the same color as the back of the book and so here's the back of the book. I have another cutout on the back that says Creep It Real with a really cute spooky sticker and a little spider. Then back on the front, if we open it up, this is our first inside cover. And here's the pocket going to the pumpkin patch and I put the few little stickers, the, the cat and the spider and the spider web. Um, so you're gonna be able to put, you know, some items in here, whether it be, you know, Halloween candy coupons, whatever. Um, anything can kind of go in that pocket. Then here's our first divider page right here, which I used this nice black paper and I found another little cutout, which was really cute, which is lined. So you can actually, you know, make some notes on the front here. I put a little ghost sticker um, and then I finished up my tabs. And I also put these cute little bat stickers on the tabs, so you can actually write on the top of the bats if you want. Um, 
I just thought, thought that was kind of a cute idea. I'll show you the next section here. So this was the next divider section that I had made. And again, I used the rest of this gold paper and I found this really cute kitty cut out again with the lined um, areas to make some notes and another cute kitty sticker. And then this is the last divider tab that I made. And I used this really pretty striped and it's got the gold foil stripes on paper and I used my little Frankenstein and the little mummy and another lined area for notes and then on the very back is another pocket it says happy Halloween and some ghosts kind of flying up from underneath the Halloween pocket and then on the very back which I showed you before it kind of all ties together with this purple paper so I wanted to pop in just a quick little segment on how I use my Halloween journal planner. Um, so I've kind of just added a few of my own personalized things. Um, I put coupons in this little pocket. This just happens to be a coupon for some candy for Halloween. Um, this section I labeled my Halloween crafts and DIY ideas. And this is just one of the ideas that I had found that I had wanted to do. Um, I didn't get a chance to do it this year. So this is what's nice about this book is you can put your ideas in here and then pull this book out next year um, and have some ideas for next year. This next little tab right here is some Halloween recipes. And actually, let me show you. This is the front. I just wrote Halloween recipes on the front here. And here's some Halloween recipes. Um, again, I just printed out a picture of the recipe and the recipe. It's nice to kind of just have like something tangible that you can, you know, hold and look at other than your phone or your computer. Um, and then this last little section right here is Halloween costume ideas. And these are just some ideas that we had for our costumes for like Jameson and Alyssa this year. And I just, you know, use these as kind of like um, you know, a, a guide for what we're going to do for our costumes. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically how I use my journal book. Um, you know, you can put pictures in here as well. So, you know, you can like take your own personal pictures, like say for instance, after Halloween, you know, you can take your pictures and post your actual pictures so you can remember, you know, what costumes that you wore every year. Um, you can post pictures of the actual recipes that you prepared. So, you know, if I was to prepare this, I could take a picture and print it out and put it down here. So it's just kind of nice to have this like planner journal book. And um, it's just a great way to like keep all of your ideas and memories together in one place. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I, I know I really enjoyed doing this and I also wanted to mention I will be doing a giveaway here very soon and I'm going to be including a, a different planner book that I'm going to make into that giveaway. So just stay tuned for another video um, about the giveaway and I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. And make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and have a great day, guys.